crew. Here for breakfast, facts for snacks. Back at it one more time. Um, I have a can crusher over here in the corner and I uh, crush every can I have. And uh, I counted 300 cans today, so I brought them back to the beer store. I got $30. Then I went to the liquor store. <clears throat> and I was grabbing cans and I'm like, this and that. I said, well, what is this? What? No way. I don't even know what's in here. So, it's probably crappy IPAs, crappy ales. I don't know. There's six beers in this. From the LCBO comes a craft mystery bag. Looks like four IPAs, two ales. Came to $22.35. Uh, in an LCBO bag. And I brought a glass out. A moose egg glass because you know what I had this in the fridge for about two hours I'm gonna even if it's not cold cold we're gonna have a beer even if I had it we're gonna have one I don't care um, so let's uh, see what's in here right oh get out <laughs> get right away Great Lakes Brewery Devil's Pale Ale 666 I am going to save this one. This one's not quite as cold as I thought, but man, what? Get out. I haven't had this one. So I will be reviewing that one. All right, what else do we got in here? Ah, right, beautiful, wicked, awesome New England style IPA from Nickel Brook Brewery. Love this beer. Love this beer. I already did a review on that one. Let's see what else we got here. Monte's Aged Ride Ale. Tomorrow Brewing. 6.2% alcohol. See, and this is what the beer store, LCBO, this is what they got to do more often. Man, that is awesome. What else do they got in here? What else? Oh, yes. My absolute favorite, uh, excuse me, my absolute favorite IPA ever. One of these are actually coming down to you, Dave. Life in the Clouds. My favorite. I ain't drinking that one right now. That one's going to be saved for Christmas. Um, look at the can art. That is awesome. Uh, what else do we got in here? This. All right, so Lunatic Fridge. Toboggan IPA, 6.2%. Wasn't a huge fan of this, but you know what? You can't always like every beer. Uh, this one I will save. And what is this red thing? Extremist. Belgium style IPA. The Napanee Beer Company. Strong beer. 7.2. See, this is what I, I want this more often. I'm going back next week to grab another one. You know what? I've already decided what I'm just going to have a sip of. Six beers. Beautiful. I can't wait. Uh, I've ha I haven't reviewed these two. So these two right here are going to go in the fridge. They're, they're somewhat chilly. Going to go in the fridge. And those are going to be reviewed. The other ones I'm just going to... Oh, this one I haven't reviewed. So three out of the six I haven't reviewed. Beautiful. But you know what? I feel like a wicked awesome New England style IPA. 6.5% alcohol. Why not? Why not? Um, it's not the coldest. You don't have to drink them always cold, guys. This one looks uh, maybe a little chunky, maybe... No, this one is pretty good actually. Smells amazing. Try something different. Buy something different. Uh, wicked awesome guys from Nickelbrook. I, I, you know, if I would have known this, I didn't know what was in here. I should have got my Nickelbrook IPA glass for this, but oh well, that looks fantastic. Um, I don't know what I rated this before. I like I said, I don't know what was in here. I am so happy. I got another one of these because I bought one for Dave and sent that out last week. And sorry, buddy, it's still stuck in Chicago. That's what it's telling me. But you know what? You'll get it eventually, the package. Um, I'm, I'm glad I picked up this one. I got this one in my package. Uh, this was brewed November 9th. Beautiful. Less than a month ago. So, this is Christmas Day beer right here. Maybe birthday day. My birthday's next Sunday, by the way. Next Sunday. It's my birthday. Maybe I'll have a life in the clouds for my birthday. Um, let's give this one a quick rating for being somewhat cold. It's not really that cold. Um, nice head on it. 
beautiful aromas of mango and pineapple. Wicked awesome IPA is a New England style IPA is a staple. Six point five percent alcohol. Um, thank you LCBO for doing this. The only one that I didn't or I haven't reviewed those three. This one I was so so on. But one out of five, one out of six that I didn't really. Eh, you know what? I'm still going to drink it because it's a beer. It's a beer. So, anyways, let's get into a sip uh, of this, and maybe I'll, I'll, and then I'm going to go back and see how close I was to it. But this is a little warmer than usual. Oh, wicked awesome IPA is great. Um, it's a little warm, but that's fine. This is like stout warm, about 10 degrees Celsius. It's fine. It's perfect. A lot of lacing. You get the you get the taste of a little bit of mango and pineapple, a little bit of bitterness in the background. Um, do I have use in here? Juicy tropical fuzzy peach. Oh, I, I, okay, I get a little bit of fuzzy peach. I get yeah. Um, Six point five percent. Love the can art, guys. Um, yeah. You know what? Even for being just a touch warmer than what I expect, this is a friggin' eight four. This is so good. I'm, I'm glad I got this and had it right now. Like I said, I got life in the clouds. These three, I haven't reviewed. And then I've seen them around. I've just bypassed them. So this is perfect because now, like I'm, I've seen this around. Belgium style IPA. 7.2 strong beer. This is going to be next week in review, guys. Probably this week I'll do this one. 6.2. Uh, um, and then, ha, ah, 666. You know what? I've never had this. Even though I've seen it all the time, I just always bypass it. Oh, oh, I'll get that a different day. I'm so glad I picked this up to actually be able to try this one now. 8-4, um, guys. Now, I don't know. Uh, wicked awesome. New England style IPA. Hear the bird in there telling me to come in. Yeah, because Amber's not here. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what uh, if you ever picked up something like this at the LCBO or beer store here in Ontario. Even if you're in the States, if you have something like this, like I said, the only one I wouldn't have bought out of this package would have been the Lunatic Fridge. But you know what? I've only had one of these. Maybe this one's totally different. Maybe that was a bad can. So this is good to have so I could try it again. Thank you, LCBO. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what I gave this before. So it's an 8.4 right now. It's just that... And it's not even that cold. That's how good this is. I'll be back tomorrow or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. And don't forget about December 19th. It's my birthday. The big 4-1, guys. Have a great night. And be kind to your neighbors. Cheers.